Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy. In a recent conversation I had with Henry Purchase of SEO Space, he recommended you add an author bio to your Squarespace blog to show authority to Google. In his words, Google, to help you stand out, wants to see that you're an expert, that you're trustworthy, and particularly this author profile add into your Squarespace website because this is going to show to Google that you're an expert. You're writing great articles and also that you have all of these social media links that people can check out as well. So there you have it. We need to add author profiles to our blog posts, but it's not as straightforward as you might think. You can't actually do this in the back end of your Squarespace website, at least not completely. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best way to add an author bio to your Squarespace blog and what I think is the best way to optimize your author profile on your Squarespace website. You're going to need to create your author bio page first in order to link to it from the actual author bio you'll create in the next step. And just to clarify, this is not an about page and is not in your header navigation. As you may know, I have opinions about about pages that you can read about here if you're curious. So you're going to create this in your not linked section and you'll probably start out with a blank page, but I'm gonna show you what I think you should put on it. When you create your author bio page, you'll include a picture of yourself, your name, your social links, what you want to be known for, and anything else that might speak to your authority, like places you've been featured, podcasts, articles, etc. I always like to start out by stating the problem that I solve to grab readers' attention. And then you can see that within the context of my bio, I have a link to my blog and to my YouTube channel. On mine, I also include summary blocks of my blog posts. Here is another post I wrote about using summary blocks to organize your blog post. And I've used this method for my author bio page. And I do recommend adding an SEO description since we're primarily creating this page for Google in the first place. This is the author bio that will appear at the end of each one of your blog posts. When you write your author bio for your blog post, it may read slightly differently from the one on your author bio page. I go into a bit more detail on my author bio page and try to abbreviate the author bio that appears at the end of my blog posts. I use wording that says, written by Jennifer Barden, with a link in my bio attached to the text Jennifer Barden that will actually bring people to my author bio page. This is how you write your author bio that will show up in your blog posts. When you log into Squarespace, select Account Dashboard. From the dashboard, select your account avatar in the upper right and select Profile. Under Bio, add your author profile and add a link in the context of your author profile to your author bio page and save this. Now that you've got your author bio page and your author profile set up in your Squarespace account, all you have to do is activate it. This feature is universal. So once it's activated, it will show up in all your blog posts in any of your blogs. If you're using a blog collection for something else, as I do for my portfolio, you can add a bit of CSS to that collection to eliminate the author profile. And I'll show you that in a moment. To activate your author bio, go to any one of your blog posts, select edit section in the upper right, toggle on show author profile. This is not the same as show author name. Show author name would show up right here. Show author profile shows at the end of your blog post. So the problem I have now is that my author bio is showing up in my portfolio because I've actually used a blog collection for my portfolio. And once you've activated your author profile for any one of your blogs, it's going to show up in all of your blogs. So if you have a blog collection where you don't want your author bio to appear, just go to the settings for that particular collection, go to advanced, go to page header code injection, copy this code out of the blog post and paste the code and save. And now you can see that there's no longer an author bio as part of this blog collection. Now your author bio 
probably looks more like this than like this. If you want yours to look like this, just head on over to the blog post and copy the code listed there and paste it right here. You can change the background color by changing the hex code over here. You can change the border radius. You may not want a border radius at all. Maybe you just want 90 degree sharp corners. You can change the padding and you can even change the width. And this here puts my name in bold. The rest of these selectors are pretty self-explanatory. Just play around with it until you get it how you like it. It was made pretty clear to me that this is an important step in getting Google to recognize me as an authority. So I suggest you do the same. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did, please give this video a like, consider subscribing to my channel, maybe share this with someone who you think could use some help with this. But most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.